Hi there, good morning. Thank you for clicking this video. On today's episode, I'm going to be taking you to a farm. Apparently, I have to create some content in a farm because of some other events happening very soon. It was really difficult finding a farm in London, to be very honest. I've made a blog post of farms very close to London. I'll put a description in the box. So I'll probably read some of them to you with the postcodes and everything. But just go to the um, description box and you see my blog post on it. Anywho, just um, come along and let's have fun today. My name is Stephanie and welcome to the Metro Gypsy platform. From Clapham Junction, I got to this station called Esha. From here, I think I'm just take a um, like taxi or something. Yeah, because it said six minute drive. Oh, this is not the way out. To how do you go out of this place? My God. Yeah, so I just figured my way out of this station because like the staircase literally leads to another platform. You get the staircase from here. So I don't even know where to go. I can't find where to tap card. <laughs> Okay, it's like I've even come out of London. Jesus lives are in. So literally, it's like I tapped one. So literally, I'm going to get that charge of, I think, thirteen pounds instead of paying like maybe three pounds something. Even I'll pay like thirteen pounds. I had to do that with my bank because I didn't even know this place was not London. Like I took the train from inside London to this. Let's see if I can talk to the person at the office. There's someone. Here. So the guy says I have contact here to sort this out because they'll charge me the maximum fee. Yes. Which is what I was telling you guys already. So, yeah. so I'll just continue my journey and then we'll do this. some 20 minutes before it's my slot because we had to buy like an hour slot each and I bought 11 a.m. to 11.59 like that's the time I'm allowed to come but right now it's 10.40 and I'm here already so yeah I'm in the shop now let's just go in and see what's going on it's like the shop is full let me go to the prices of things okay. yeah so the prices are all right just normal prices they have handbags wallet scarves that's true it's my friend's birthday today so I should totally get her a gift from here. I was gonna get something from TK Maxx, because I don't know what the brand is. Yeah, maybe you get her a scarf, you know. I see candles. Christmas decor already. <laughs> see this lonely woman. that coming here without a car is not the best decision if i can come without a car but you see that taxi that brought me he should have brought me into this place but i should have let him drive me in first guy he said 30 minute walk i was like okay <laughs> i should have done walk but no 30 minutes like together is crazy so but the lady that actually check 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 she was like i should just turn right after walking down a bit and i'll see a patch i can see this one here i saw one out there but it was very boring but this looks like something good this is, looks like like the pick your pumpkin so people are picking hey well there's a car behind me <laughs> they really don't like using the horn in developed countries <laughs> i just said i'll listen to music and keep walking and be thinking of my life exciting times i don't want to spend more than an hour creating so i can go back home and start getting ready for our car this evening so i think the guy exaggerated this thing you know, because all the cars are, that are coming are all parked here and this is just like let's say 15 minute walk all the cars are packed here apples and pumpkins this is it so this is 30 minutes 30 minutes like 
until you've come here to die. I'm excited guys. I'm trying to bring up my tripod and not scare anybody. Taking this little corner. There's not many people here. So to be honest, eh, I'm still <laughs> not sure what I'm doing here. Music on my phone. Just playing here. Yeah guys, just keep me company somehow. I've come up with an idea. So I'm going to create like a runway with pumpkins and then do the shoe because I told you I brought like two pairs of extra shoes that can be worn to a farm so it just be like my farm shoe or something So guys, I'm done with the shoe reel. So obviously, this was my runway. So right now, I want to do like the full outfit thing, just something simple. Because I brought some beanies, I brought like the neck warmer. So I just change it and then change the shoes as well, and then just walk. Because I really, do, I do want a. In fact, I shot my extra outfit yesterday because I wanted to do one outfit today, but just to make use of the farm and everything. What's the time? Okay, it's to 12 now. Just make it to the farm. Let me just quickly do that. Maybe what you can wear to the farm. Let me tell you guys about this outfit. This puffer jacket is from the male section of TK Maxx. I can't remember the brand. Turtleneck from MS. All my turtlenecks used to be from MS, so I guess this one is from there as well. My tights from Primark is a really tight tight from Primark. The shoes are very different. This is um, obviously the Prada dupes, but I got those from Ego Shoes. I've got my Hunter boots. That Hunter boot is another story. I used to own Hunter boots from like 20. 11. When I was moving from Aylesbury, that was period I used contract then, I got very detached from my material things like because you have to sometimes get a job in Gloucester, get a job in Aylesbury, you not be carrying like 10 boxes jiggers so I started removing things. God knows those hunter boots, I would not really rocked them, I probably worn them just for like twice, one time to actually go out, one time to shoot content and I've had them for years, brand new looking on point, it was black and burgundy at the top. That's how I was living in Aylesbury. Your hobby or so my pick my load one time and I'll say let me just drop it. Let the load not be much. Normally sometimes when I'm not sure of my items, I ask Kobe like, do you like this thing? He'll say yes, no. If he says no, if I'm not sure of it. Like I didn't even have to ask. One day he just said, where are your wellies? It's like I gave them out in Aylesbury. It's like, are you kidding? Omo? I just said, I just knew I'd really messed up and I started looking for these things are like 150. Even the ones I saw in TK Maxx one time, it was 59, 79 pounds. So before this thing, I just said, you know what, let me just check Vinted. I'm always preaching to all my friends to go to Vinted. I went there. There was one time I actually saw a green one in Vinted I really liked, but the girl was just very adamant on selling at 99 because of how much she had bought it, which I understood. And I said, I just saw this navy blue one. So the girl was like, I think it was 444 or 46. And I was like, um, can you, because on Vinted, you can just ask, you can just click the amount you want to pay. So I think I put 40 and then she was like, let's meet in the middle. I was like, thank you. That's how she sent it to um, the thing brand new, everything in pack picture of a vintage two days ago or yes two days ago or yesterday so two days ago two days ago and they are here so i'm wearing those and then the third um, pair are a pair of timberland boots borrowed from my husband if i've edited the reel i'll put it in the video if not just follow me on instagram to catch up thank you for keeping me coming i really appreciate it and then thank god for creativity because all this idea i just sat down here they were just coming coming like sometimes you watch all the reel in the world oh my god shout out to a go go a mom journeys as I got down from the taxi, I just got a message from on DM. This girl just sent me a pumpkin reel. Like guys, I didn't even ask her. Like things like that touch me. Yo. I swear, like she knows I'm coming to the farm. She knows like every time I come, I was shooting. I'm always clearless on reels. You just see me walking up and down. And then she just sent me one girl. That, she, that was even what was almost making me just forget this place and go to shoot in a clean area because the girl was just playing around with her pumpkins like I go go thank you so much like things like that mean so like unprovoked she just sent me I know my girl is you know in the farm alone see this real for ah I was touched I go go thank you I appreciate that and guys yeah I didn't do my nails because obviously I'm coming to the farm so don't judge me so this is my second look this one is with the teams this stuff is by a Nigerian brand of um clinicals and then again Mariam Salami um, what's it? Arewa is the name of Arewa scars. I think they do other stuff, stuff now like candles and homeware stuff. See, so yeah, I just thought to wait because the, the color, though is not as orange as the other scarf I had, I didn't want the scarf to take away the point. <laughs> so I love how understated and dark this her orange is. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, this is me overdoing it, but yeah, content now. <laughs> I 
because I want to stop at Richmond to exchange something at H and M. So yeah. Is this place so far? So far from where? I don't even know. Like two Uber council before you. Did they? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, well, well. yeah probably it's a bit far. Yeah. <laughs> And everybody was 10 minutes, but it just comes to comes to comes. I was like, is there traffic? I don't know about that. Anyway, thanks for not cancelling. No, but. Okay, yeah, so I did the H&M and everything perfectly. I'm now on my friend's birthday. It's really noisy here, but yeah, enjoy with me. Happy birthday! No hugging fest. <laughs> Thank you. What happened? Hey, how are you feeling? <laughs> As a matter of fact, say hello to my channel. Oh, baby, you're